Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Auto News Now. I'm your host, Laura Harris. Today, we have the latest auto news headlines from our reporters to you. U.S. auto safety regulators are investigating potential issues with certain Honda pilots. NHTSA's Office of Defects Investigation says it received 221 complaints and several field reports alleging a defect. This alleged defect is with the auto stop start feature on pilot vehicles from the 2016 to 2019 models. The auto stop start function is meant to help improve fuel efficiency. Some reports also allege a jump was required for the vehicle to restart. Through its investigation, NHTSA will determine if, quote, a recall request letter needs to be sent to the manufacturer. Swedish automaker Polestar Cars will introduce what it says will be its highest volume vehicle in the U.S. yet. The Volvo affiliate will bring the Polestar 3. This is a Porsche Cayenne-sized crossover. Polestar CEO Thomas Ingenlath says, quote, With this car, we bring the Sport back to the SUV. It features new design elements. These include a sloping silhouette and headlight and real light styling that is different from other models. It's built on an all-new electric platform. Volvo hopes to use this platform for next-generation vehicles. The Polestar will come to U.S. dealer showrooms in the first quarter of 2023. Executive changes are coming to Toyota Motor North America. Toyota's Bob Carter will retire by the end of the month. Carter is the executive president of sales for the Toyota and Lexus brands. He's been with Toyota since 1981. Senior Vice President of Automotive Operations Jack Hollis will succeed Carter. Other executive moves are set to happen over the next couple of months. CarPlay is the smarter, safer way to use your iPhone in the car and has fundamentally changed the way people interact with their vehicles. Apple software will be more prominent in vehicle dashboards. The company announced an updated version of its CarPlay software. This is the first time its software will power the instrument cluster on a car's dashboard. This means that the dashboard will show speed, directions, and gas mileage. Also, the company plans to make changes to other apps. This includes better rendering of landmarks on its map software. Apple says cars with the new software will start shipping next year. Legacy Automotive Capital raises $500 million to fuel dealers making acquisitions. Over the next 36 months, they plan to allocate the money to assist dealers. This will help dealers acquire property in buy-sell transactions. This can also help provide dealers capital via a dealership sale leaseback. Now a sale leaseback is when a dealer sells the store's real estate, the buyer then leases the property back to the dealer. This creates a quick capital source for the dealer. Legacy Automotive's goal is to have $1.5 billion worth of assets under management by 2027. If you want to read any more of the latest news, check out our reporter stories on automotivenews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Laura Harris. Enjoy your night.